Dreamcatcher with Bum Voyage. Let's check it out. And thank you so much, Sledge the Heads, for the request. <laughs> Okay, one of my absolute favorite things in music is fusion, especially between electronic music and rock music and instruments. They they even got prog in there, that pre-chorus. What in the heck? They had like these insane guitar licks with the unison with the drums that just really set up the chorus nice and got you stoked for it. But then before that, they had that soft bridge thing with like this deep 808 bass with strumming acoustic guitar, which I don't think I've ever heard that combination before, and that really soft, beautiful voice, and just created such a nice contrast and dynamic. And then starting off with the rock, like it sounds like, like got your spin for a second with all that slap bass and guitar stuff. Like when I thought of K-pop, this is not what I thought of. It's it's hard to believe this is even K-pop, you know? It's so dynamic, so, like, instrument-driven, and, dang, I, Dreamcatcher is cool. The last Dreamcatcher song I heard, too, can't remember what the name was. I think, was it on the stream? But it was super rock-sounding. Like, they are cool. <laughs> I love this sound. I feel like I need a lighter. to message champ after the stream and nerd out with him has he reacted to this yet oh my gosh um even the video is really cool like the 
lightning effects that happened before and then this explosion. It's just a fun video to watch. Wow, what an experience. I was not expecting Dreamcatcher to rock so hard. That was really cool. Also, I've got some exclusive live music and anime reactions over on my Patreon. I just finished reacting to Bochi the Rock, and now I'm starting Cowboy Bebop. I do exclusive live music reactions, and I've covered everyone from Bandmade, Baby Meta, Love Bites, Namephila, Gatrick Spin, that you can find only on my Patreon. And you can also make your own requests for videos I react to. So go check that out, and I'll talk to you next time.